The grind is back. Yes, guys, the grind is back in Destiny because now you're going to want to be level 400 before the Forsaken DLC drops in September. Speaking about Forsaken, guys, I am going to show you guys some exclusive Warlock gear and exclusive Hunter gear towards the end of the video. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. So check that out. Exclusive gear for the Warlock and Hunter coming your way. Now, you're probably wondering, Laser, how am I going to get to 400 if we could only get to 385 at the current state of the game? Well, in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys exactly how you will be able to get level 400 and be ready for September to make sure you guys are ready to rock and roll when the Forsaken DLC comes out. So let's go ahead and dive into this video and find out exactly how you will be able to reach level 400 super duper fast, maybe? Question mark. Well, we're about to find out, guys. So if you guys don't know, today we got information on all the new stuff that is coming into Destiny. So I want you to mark a date in your calendar, and that is July the 17th. July the 17th, we will have an update called 1.2.3. And this is the update that is going to allow us to reach that 400 power level. So what exactly will we need to do? What event will we need to play? And what exactly will the event be about? So prestige raids are coming, guys, as you already know. Currently at the current moment, we only have one prestige raid, which is the, the Leviathan raid. But we have two raids that we still don't have a prestige mode for. But luckily for us, guys, those raids are getting updated on the 17th. The Spire of Stars and Eater of Worlds raid will be featured in prestige raids. Now, the way the prestige is going to work this time around is very different from any other raids that we've had. And we'll talk a little bit about that further along in the video. But when these prestige raids come out, you will be able to get 400 power weapons and 400 power armor before forsaken that is how you'll be able to do this now the only caveat to this is that the only way you're able to get the 400 power weapons or the 400 power gear is by completing the prestige spire of stars or eater of worlds the leviathan is not getting updated to 400 so these will be the only two raids that you will be able to complete to get that 400 power weapons or power armor now what's interesting about this is that the weapons that are dropping this can be any raid weapon from Destiny 2, not just weapons that drop for that specific layer. So it could be a whole arsenal of weapons that you could get from any raid that's currently in Destiny. It's not just a weapon for that specific layer, which makes it really interesting because you'll be able to accumulate a lot of weapons or a lot of gear as you go through, as you complete these uh, prestige encounters. Now, of course, any raid cannot be complete without having raid armor ornaments, and each prestige raid layer has its own set of unique armor ornaments, which makes it really cool. And it's something to go for and gun for, you know, like if you want to collect a cool armor set and, uh, you know, have it have the ornaments stick out, then you will be able to do so. On top of that, you will also get an exotic masterwork catalyst for both raid layers and have a master catalyst that can be found only as a rare drop in the activity. So there's going to be a lot of grinding, guys. When I said the grinding is back, the grind is back to get that exotic masterwork catalyst. Remember when I said that there was going to be changes to the raid from any other previous raids that we have? Well, this time the raids are completely changing and uh, we're going to explain why. So if you guys recall back in Destiny 1 and also towards Destiny 2, you know, to the starts of the raid, we had a thing where the raids would automatically change when they became prestige. There was different ways of doing the same encounter, but in different ways. For example, if when you were, went into the Leviathan and you were trying to kill Callus, you know, you had the thing where like you also had to alternate people People that were going to the void room you couldn't have the same people in the void room at once that's what made it prestige well this time around the raids that are becoming prestige will no longer have that like those type of modifiers we are going to get two different sets of things one is the curated weapons and number two are modifiers so what exactly is curated weapons if you guys haven't rem uh, have, haven't been falling into the destiny stuff well curated weapon loadouts are based on weapon archetypes so each week we will have a curated weapon loadout. So what does that mean? That means that you could only use that set of weapon archetype in order to complete the raid. So it'll probably say something like you could only use auto rifles and submachine guns and snipers. Or it'll say you could only use scout rifles, hand cannons, and rocket launchers. So if you use anything either than that, you will not complete the curated challenge. Not only that, but you are not locked into this set of archetypes. So for example, this is auto rifle, submachine gun, sniper rifle. And let's say for an encounter, you want to go ahead and run the cold heart, but then you want to change it to another auto rifle when you go to a different section, then you're able to do that. You're able to transition as long as you keep that archetype of weapon. For example, 
you cannot go to you, know, you can't go auto rifle and then switch it to a scout rifle if the creative weapon loadout is that so you just got to keep it within that archetype of weapon and the other thing that they're getting added is modifiers now we've never seen modifiers in raids we've seen modifiers in nightfalls but not in raids now they said that they have two different sets of modifiers that are brand new that we haven't heard of Plus, they're adding one that we everybody knows of, which is Prism. Now, these modifiers are going to be active, and some of these modifiers are meant to be able to help you, uh, you know, complete the raid or give you a little bit of advantage over the enemy without having to uh, suffer too much because they're hitting you too hard. So, I'm really excited to see what these modifiers are, especially the two new ones, because it's a very good in incentive way of, you know, approaching the raid. I do like the creative weapon loaded as well. Because, you know, sometimes when we're doing a raid, we're so used to using the same weapon. This is going to make it challenging for us. So when when it switches to like a weird setup that we've never used before, it's going to give us a chance not only to explore different weapons, but also to find different ways to actually complete the raid. They said that the main goal of them adding modifiers and changing the loadouts was to kind of give, you know, the raid a fresh look every single time that you were doing it. And the mo the modifier and weapon loadouts might synchronize really well with like a good armor set. That you've been using for a lot of months that would probably be like the first time that the raid comes out everything's going to work perfectly with what you currently remember but the following week you are probably going to be have to venture out from your comfort zone and try to find something else that works better or doesn't work better but something that's different than when you're accustomed to completing the raid now one question that might get asked is when are these prestige layers are going to be active is like there's only going to be like first week is the you know one's going to be active is the other one going to be deactivated no, both raids will be available once they go live. So you can complete all three prestige raids if you want to go ahead and complete it on the same week. Now, remember, this will go live, guys, when the update 1.23 goes live. And that goes live July the 17th. Here you guys have it. Here is the Warlock Bond, which is going to be featured in the Forsaken. Tell me if that doesn't look cool. That nice looking bird or crow on the side of his arm. And here we have the Hunter wearing some cowboy boots. Boys, I can't wait for Tech Mechanica to actually rule the world because I love their guns. And is this a clue that the last word is coming back? Question mark? Let me know, guys, in the comment section down below. And there you guys have it. That is how you'll be able to reach level 400 in a destiny 2 but i want to ask you guys a question what light level are you currently are right now and are you guys excited for the pre street trade and if you are which one are you mostly excited for what do you guys think of the new way that we're they're adding to the prestige layers where it's no longer changes to the fight it's just going to be curated loadouts and also modifiers let me know all that information in the comment section down below and don't forget guys for all things destiny 2 Make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel. Don't forget to drop a like. Share this video with friends because it does help me out a lot. And I will catch you guys on the next video.